All right, hello and welcome. It is a Monday, which means it is fall at New Vegas time once again. We are continuing with the Honest Hearts DLC, which we started in the last uh, stream. When we began the Honest Hearts DLC, we entered the Zion Valley only to be attacked by a group of tribal raiders called the White Legs, who took out our caravan party and in the process, <clears throat> excuse me, left us singularly stranded, but not alone for long as we met somebody by the name of, as uh, we gained a companion called Falls Chalk, who introduced us to the Dead Horses tribe and Joshua Graham, who is the Burn Man and Caesar's original legate of his legion, who is still alive somehow, and now he and another new Canaanite, or as some people might call them, Mormons, have uh, this, uh, are working with two tribes in the area, the Dead Horses and the tribe that Daniel is with, the Sorrows, to, <clears throat> excuse me, to try and draw back the White Legs and their attack on the valley. And, uh, yeah, we got a new companion in a midwife called Waking Cloud who will be able to help us as we attempt to get out of the valley. So, yeah, it is, uh... Sorry, I was just turning up the volume a little bit so that I could hear some of the sound effects. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, it is Monday, um, and I'm sure some of you might have noticed uh, that I have Autism Acceptance Month, uh, as well as just, in general, one of my tags uh, for the channel for these streams is, uh, is Autism. And that is because... <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, I have autism, and I am not afraid to uh, discuss it or talk about it. Um, if you guys have any questions during uh, the stream of April, or during the stream of April, the streams, <clears throat> excuse me, the streams in April, uh, please let me know. I, I very, very much want to, uh, you know, be friendly with people, and I want, uh, anybody to not be, uh, because I know there's a lot of misconceptions about autism and everything, so, if you happen to have any questions about autism during April, when I'm streaming, by all means, please, uh, don't hesitate to ask, uh, if you're respectful in your questioning, I will most definitely be respectful with you in my answer. And I very much want to help people because I do think that it's very much misunderstood still, even all these years later. Uh, like, in my entire lifetime, it still feels like, even afterwards, it's Daniel all been... Daniel said that I was to travel with you until you have completed your scouting. Is this pleasing to you? Sounds good. Let's Certainly. go. We should make haste then. I mentioned wake, Waking Cloud quiet as the waters. While Waking Cloud is in your party, it's much easier to sneak past the White Legs. Their perception is decreased. Yeah, that's because the White Legs are not necessarily fighters. Uh, she... I have no idea why she took off her Yao Guai gauntlet. Uh, but as you can see, she's got the uh, feathers. She's got some tattoos. Uh, and the shaved head. Uh, see if she had a new Cut dialogue added. Tato view. Do you have any family? I do. A fine husband and three children. I miss them each day, but I take comfort in knowing they are safe. Safe? Where when are we they? When learned that Salt Upon Moons had defiled Zion with his presence, Daniel ordered the children, the old, and the sick evacuated from the camp. My husband volunteered Smart. to lead the hunters that went with them for protection. I tried not to worry about them, 
But we have had no news for so long, and Daniel seems sad when I ask him about it. Sad and... a little frightened. I could talk to him. Maybe he'll open up to Perhaps me. Perhaps he will. I sometimes feel he thinks he must protect me. If he has news, I would know of it. And that's kind of all. Then I will look forward to our next speaking. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do this quest since we're right here. So I'm gonna ask her to wait. As you wish. And I'm only doing this because I do think that if you talk to Daniel and she's in the party, I don't think that she actually uh, he actually gives you a straight answer. Uh, but yeah, I'm not going to make make it awkward uh, in regards to, you know, the autism acceptance uh, month thing. I just wanted, you know, it to be kind of... Excuse me. I just wanted to kind of let that be known since, uh, you know, get it out in the open. Blah. I can finish my sentence. So, yeah. I think he's in this cavern. Heh, <laughs> nice neon fungus. Oh no, he's not. Uh... Okay then. Uh, why? Uh. Could have swore he was somewhere. Is he in here? Oh no, this is the shaman. Uh, yeah, we can get a Yao guy gauntlet. Hola, oh. outsider. Welcome, child of omens. You come to receive visions of truth? What? I don't know what visions of truth Take mean. Take drugs, kill a bear, seek medicine <gasps> plants, Wild wasteland. return with sacred datura root, receive visions of truth, they guide you. Okay. Alright, okay then, go. I guess I'll just go. Return, maybe yes. Return, maybe no. But go. Heh! <laughs> nice. That was Wild Wasteland. Uh... That's actually kind of funny to think, though. It's like... I'm surprised that one actually worked, because... Some of these other wild wastelands have been glitched. I don't know why, but they have. Ooh, blood shield. That sounds very useful. Uh, but yeah, I hope everybody's having a good Monday. Uh, I, you know, it was a Monday for me. And I'm here now. And where the hell did Daniel go? Turn my back for two seconds and the guy's gone. And now I don't even know where the hell he is. You up here? Like, seriously, what? Uh, there. No. I want to wait. Oh, so now he's over back at the camp. Huh. <sighs> I suppose I probably, because I, uh, was doing all that other stuff, he, uh, glass chime cave, that's not ominous, but I suppose because I was doing the stuff that I was doing earlier, 
uh, now all of a sudden he's, uh, or like I should say, I was talking to the characters that I was earlier. Now, uh, all of a sudden, he's back where his character is supposed to be in terms of like, you know, when you're not like talking to them where they're supposed to be kind of thing. I know that that what I just said did not necessarily make the greatest degree of sense, but uh, bear with me, I guess. Uh. Now, I actually don't want to go higher. I want to get down without like falling to my death game. Can you help me with that? Uh. Oh. That's a taboo place. The handprints means that uh, I couldn't take Waking Cloud in there, but I could take... Uh, I could take... Uh, Follows Chalk in there. Because he doesn't give a damn about the... Uh, Taboos. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, he's right here. I'm glad to see Duh. you're still with us. Is there any other way I can help the if sorrows? If you could part with it, healing powder would be welcome. We have enough stim packs for now, but we can't rely on that small supply. Brock and Xander plants can be found throughout the valley, and you might even find some on White Legs you come across. Okay. What, um, what do you want to know exactly? I'm sure she could tell you much better than I. She said one of her birds was very difficult and you helped oh, her through well, it. That's true. Waking Cloud is a talented midwife. She certainly brought more children into the world than I had. But there are some problems she's never dealt with. One of them came up when she was having her third child and... I really didn't do much. I'm surprised she mentioned it. Did you, did you help the rest of her family leave Zion, though? I did. What's the matter? Did something happen? Her three children are safe. They made it north weeks ago and met up with new Canaanites heading east. Her husband didn't make it. He died protecting their children from a white leg attack. Do not tell Waking Cloud. She is one of the only sorrows who can communicate easily with us, and her tribe needs her to be strong right now. It's her husband. Don't you think she's got a right to know? To everything, there is a season. Who are you or I to put this heavy burden on her now? You're the new Canaanite who's supposed to lead these people, not hide things I know. from them. You're right. I shouldn't have hidden it from her in the first place. I just... We can't fail here again. Zion can't become the next new Canaan. The Sorrows don't deserve that. They don't deserve any of this. Sometimes I look at them and wonder if they would have been better off if those old trails had stayed forgotten. If we had never found any of them. <sighs> Tell Waking Cloud if you think that's best. I won't stop you. Until then. Mm. All right. Daniel says that most people outside the valley do not keep to the father's ways. Perhaps when you leave, you will carry his word with you. Maybe. Katubiu. About your husband. I'm afraid he was killed during by light white legs during the evacuation. What? No. You must be mistaken. Daniel would have told me. I'm afraid so. Daniel kept it from you because he thought the grief would distract how, you. How dare he? What gives him the right? I thought Daniel was my friend. But he cares nothing for the sorrows. He, he was only doing what he thought was best for the tribe. It wasn't an easy choice for him. Perhaps. 
I will have to have a very long talk with Daniel when all of this is over. Thank you for telling me this truth. It was the very least I could do. Alright, here we go. Let's get going. I walk in. Alright then. Huh. Sorry, waking cloud. Excuse me. Why? Why is fast travel not available from here? Ugh. But yeah, we're gonna help them uh, take care of some business. Oh, that's why. By the Joshua Graham's Babylon, gotta come here for. We sat down. Yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, "Raise it, raise it even to the foundation." O oh, daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. Do you know what it means? Joshua Graham? It means you don't want to leave Zion, that you'd rather kill every last white one of the white legs. Given those two choices, yes. In the best of all possible worlds, they would just leave us in peace. But they won't. I don't mm -hmm. enjoy killing, but when done righteously, it's just a chore, like any other. Practice Damn. hands make for short work. And the good Lord knows there's much to be done here. This conversation just got pretty dark. What was that about dashing... Uh, half, happy, about happy dashing little ones? You'll get no argument from me. These white legs are human garbage. They're still God's children. But if they turn against their brothers and sisters, won't listen to reason. If they pollute the Lord's temples on earth, like Zion, who are we to stand by and let them continue? Daniel does not yet see things the way we do. He is the John to our Matthew and Mark. When you have a moment, speak with him. There may still be time to save Zion from the White Legs, to keep God's children here, in this living temple. Interesting. Alright, well let's talk to Daniel really quick if we can. I'm kind of disappointed that you can't like just grab the fish out of the water. That would be kind of cool. Well, he ain't moved, so that's good. Oh, hi, Dark Horse Tribal. I didn't see you there. Dead us. Horse Tribal. Dead Horse Tribal. I didn't see. Oh, okay. I can't. All right. I guess I just have to do my uh, thing. I guess I just have to do the things. I do kind of wish that you could, like, they'll grab, like, just, like, grab the fish. Or, hell, use a spear. Like, because you have a spear. Why are you not using it kind of thing? Uh, let's see here now. We'll use the forty-five auto pistol. Check it. Not bad, eh? Sorry, I was trying to look at the map. You think one day I'll actually realize that the map button is not, in fact? There you go. Now you see the Yao Guai gauntlet. Damn. 
There's just something about that that's so impressive. White leg sapper, huh? Let's see how you like them apples. Damn it. Thank you. Ooh, that's uh that's interesting. Ooh, shish kebab. Nice. A shish kebab. Very devastating weapon. How did you get your hands on one of those? Uh, okay. So we are on the right path. Hello, viewer. Hopefully you have had a great Monday. Uh, I like I said, I'm having a decent family. one. You would like them, I think. Ah, I'm sure I would too, Waking Cloud. That sadly, Daniel sent your your husband to your to his death and your uh, children out of the valley. Let us make sure that. Let us make sure that you can live. Let us make sure that they can live. God damn that Yao Guai gauntlet is so cool. Uh. Oh. Ow. Oh. Okay. I did. I thought it was, uh. I thought it was, uh. This is the only sure path from the Narrows to Pine Creek. They will be cut to ribbons by these traps. What should we do? Disarm what should the we do about that? If you can, or find the white legs, place them, and drive them off. Our advanced scouts should be able to deal with them if they don't have to fight off raiders at the same time. Makes sense. Let's take care of them. As you say. Okay. Uh. Yeah, so we have uh we have the opportunity to basically do uh to basically uh destroy the traps. What? Where Okay, where is the combat music? There it is. I was just going to say like wait a minute. So yeah, now we have uh now we have uh the ability to I'm sorry, I was hearing something else. Jeez. But yeah, now we gotta deal with these traps, which I don't know where they are. Oh yeah, they're probably on this bridge here. Uh, okay. Well, I was just gonna say. company is like yeah messy business I am glad it's over damn it I'm sorry I'm just trying to figure out where these traps are So yeah, I'm just trying to take care. Oh, here's here's a trap. I don't know if I have. Aha! Okay, since so a trap down. Anything in here? Just a wrench. No. Ah, another bear trap. Okay. Leave me no choice. Damn, this forty five is not bad. Uh, 
The only problem is, is that 45 ammunition is harder to come by. Thank you. Take that. White leg bone guy. Ah! Lightbringer. Yeah, you're a lightbringer, alright. With that stupid submachine gun. You'd be. Ah. Storm drummers. Why am I only targeting. Ugh, sorry. Why am I only targeting those two? Like, that shouldn't be how it is. There we go. Damn it! Did you maybe hit? Hit! Damn it! Pull your. Quit pulling your aim, dude. You said to the, the character in the video game. Ah! Damn it! Oh, for frack's sake! I love the... I love the anti-material rifle, but if you don't spec out into guns, it is a very bad kind of weapon to have. And Waking Cloud took care of... Yeah, she took care of all these guys for me. Ah, nice. Ah, brush gun. Nice. Do not keep to the father's ways. Perhaps when you leave, you will carry his word with you. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Maybe, maybe I will. Yeah, I still don't have a lot of ammunition for those guns, so... I think I'll stick with the 45s. Okay, I actually already looted his corpse. There was the other guy. Yeah, 12-7 submachine gun. Don't need that. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, okay. So I didn't. I took out the traps. Yeah. I, I took out the traps on the bridge. I think now all I have to do is take out the... I think now all I have to do is take out the remaining white legs that set them. Oh, nope, I missed one. That's why it didn't... I almost walked into it. That would have been stupid. It also would have been annoying, but... I didn't do it, so... Uh -huh. So then where the hell game are you sending me? I actually remember not necessarily caring for this part of the of the DLC because it's basically hey go and do this fetch quest. Hey go and do this quest here. Oh, uh, yeah, that, that, this is totally, you know, what we're gonna have you do kind of thing. It's not necessarily like that it's just bad, it's just like kind of... Oh, so now you spawn in, and you know what? Screw this. I use Thump Thump, my unique grenade launcher. Aha! Aha! Suck it! Suck my uh, unique grenade launcher. Grenade, grenade rifle. Biatch. Boom. Don't screw around with thump thump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. I'm sorry. You're you're, you're really nice and everything, but it's just like, I get it. Your family, all that stuff. Okay. Uh, nah. Okay. Okay, uh. advanced scouts. 
Alright, so we need to go that way now. Let's do it to it. Oh, now what? A frick, freaking mole rat? Yeah, you know what? You deal with that waking cloud. I'm not wasting the ammunition on these things. Quite a delayed response. Oh crap, more green geckos. Uh, okay, so actually we do want to go this way. Yeah. Yeah, so we want to go this way actually anyways. Hell. Yeah, I would say that Honest Hearts is probably my uh my least favorite of the DLCs. Not because of like the character the characters in it or like the content, just that it's like not my just not my favorite DLC. I will say the wildlife is the most interesting though. Like the Yao Guai. The Yao Guai, the various forms of like mini deformed geckos that you see running around. Like, there's just something fun about that. Uh, let's see here now. Uh, yeah. Let's go this way. Like, seriously, what the hell? Look at these little guys. Yeah, I'm almost near level 30, so there's that at least. Zion used to be a place of peace, you know. Daniel says that it is holy in the eyes of the Father. I hope someday you will see it as it was. Uh huh. Yeah, and now, uh. Now you've got a couple of other, uh. <laughs> nice, you got an overturned boat. A buried boat. One of the very few in, in Fallout New Vegas. So I'm very surprised that they didn't have, like, more boats, like, in, like, some of the, like, locations here. With, like, Lake Mead and everything. You don't have, like, a lot of boats buried in the water. Uh, yeah. We're going on the right path. Like, not even rowboats or canoes that you would think are still there. The river is lovely at this time of day. Don't you think? Yeah, if you say so. And yeah, Those I know I'm discovering like a there, lot of stuff. That is a white leg war camp. Do you see the war totems they've erected around the tents? White leg warriors pray to them for strength and savagery before battle. This is no raiding band. Any advice on how to deal with the situation? You might rush them and take them by surprise. We would be badly outnumbered then, though, and these will be strong fighters. They might also use their superstition against them. White Leg Warriors believe that to lose their totems on the eve of battle is a terrible omen. Convenient. Yes. If their war totems were to disappear, they would likely lose the will to fight. Okay, then I let's get down there and take command, care of business. But I advise caution if it is possible. Caution is for the weak. I have this. He says he's going to pull out Thump Thump again. I have this. Yeah, like seriously, I'll just grenade him to hell and back. If the game will let me see it. Yeah, suck it. <sighs> Boom. Good thing you guys don't have, like, too much loot that I'm worried about blowing to Kingdom Come. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, the shish kebab's very cool. 
If I was actually better at melee weapons, I'd probably actually be using the shish kebab to go in and get crap done, but I, I'm not. My character's not a melee... This, this character's not a melee spec build. But that's A-OK, -okay, guys. I mean, my character's not even really... I don't even know what my character, I guess you could consider, is. He's not a... Not a melee... Controller batteries are low. Uh-oh. Sorry about that. <laughs> Actually, hang on here. Let me check the reality of that. First, let me save, just in case. Saving. Well, sure enough, it says that my controller my controller battery reads as low. Ah, I'm sure it'll be fine. If uh, the controller craps out on me, then I'll change out the batteries, but I'm not that worried. Let's just go thumpa 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 thumpa. Them, uh... Them all into the ground. Shall we? Uh... I have no idea why that is, like, is what it is. That just, like... Oh, they're... Oh, I see. They're, they've actually they killed the rad scorpion. That's what it is. I was like, wait a minute. What the hell is that giant rad scorpion? But no, it's, it's something that they killed. Ha-ha! Thump thump knocks you on your ass, biatch! Business. I am glad it's over. Hell to the yes! The advanced scouts have been dealt with! Ha-ha! Alright. Now we gotta just go to the Morning Glory Cave to get the uh, Grand Staircase map. Uh, well, that and I think the river monsters too, but I'm not really worried about that. Okay. I wish you could have met my family. Do you have anything else to say, White Cloud? I mean, even even Follows Chalk had a little bit more to say than you. I'm not even saying that I'm mad. I'm just kind of, like, curious. It's like, what the heck are... is all... Like, do you have nothing else to say? That's just kind of sad to me. Did I get all... Oh, no, this was the one. No, I got this guy. Well, I got them all, actually. Uh, no... I mean, if I was a survival character, if I was a survival character, some of this stuff would be interesting to me. But it's not. Where the heck did this thing come from? Like, seriously. It spawned in out of nowhere. I, I tells ya, it's just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh, well. Alright. And yes, I do think that going this way, even though it's probably going to result in a couple of wildlife attacks, is probably the uh, better way to get out. Huh. Ah! Eh? Waking Cloud made a man noise there. Level up? Level up? No. Well, one or two more things taken out and... I'll be able to level up, sorry. Something in my teeth. And discovering the ranger station was kind of nice. All right, well, let's follow the river until we, uh... 
until we reach this morning glory cave, shall we? Although, I'm going to give myself some daylight here. I don't want to be out roaming in this valley. Valley of death in the middle of darkness. No, thank you. The next thing you know, I got a Yaogui or something sneaking up on me, and I can't see the frickin' thing. I wish you could have well. met my family. Oh, yes, I know, Waking Cloud. I know, I would like to meet your family too, if for no other reason, so that you would shut up about it. Uh, can I get out this way, or no? Aha! Yeah, don't worry about Waking Cloud. It, she'll follow if I can get up here. Come on! Thank you. That's the great thing about NPCs. They'll follow you if you can get up. Patriarchs, campground. Okay. Blammo! Yay, level up. All right. We got three skill, four skills, no, three skills up to level 100. Hmm. What to level up? Uh, I think I should just be doing mostly, uh, like survival and, and weapons oriented stuff. Melee weapons up to 40. Uh, Alright. Now, the real question is, what perk do I want? Uh. Now, ordinarily, I should admit, uh, I should also acknowledge, by the way, uh, that... Excuse me. If you were playing the vanilla game... Uh, level 30 would be the uh, end of the leveling up. So, in addition to the perks, each DLC, each of the four uh, story DLCs, adds uh, five to uh, five levels to the level cap. So, by the end of the game, or you can reach level 50 in Fallout New Vegas with all the DLC installed. So, yeah, that's kind of nice. I think by, like, level 40 or something. Well, actually, I can't remember. I think you do have to get to level 50 in order to, uh... <clears throat> in order to get all of the, uh, stuff maxed to level 100. Or, like, skill perk skills level 100. Uh, what do I want, though? That's the problem. Uh, I guess we'll go with the commando because I'm using two hand. I use two-handed weapons uh, decently enough in terms of like, you know, length. And I'm sure like going forward, uh, they'll be they'll definitely be more prevalent going forward. The two-handed weapons. So I have no idea what this is called Patriarch's Camp. Just that this is where it is. Oh. Uh. Oh. The hell? Waking Cloud? What the hell are you doing? Oh, the disciple. It's a disciple of the dead horse. Okay. I see. Clever, clever. Yeah, okay, so he sh they showed up on my radar, but they're not within, like, firing range. That's fine. Oh, we're near here, so... We're 
We're near the morning, and here being the morning glory cave. Uh, okay, so I think I actually have to go back. Yeah! Ugly. Mother effa. Green gecko. Also, check out that... Damn, that's got some kick. Also, check out that plane that's embedded in the, uh, in the wall. Or, the wall of the cliff there. That's pretty sick, actually. Ah, crap. Come at me, bro! Uh-oh. Why, is he going to get his... Going to get his brother? Oh, yeah, he's going to get his big brother. Oh, hi, Waking Cloud. Thank you for joining the party. There. Uh, and we get the Morning Glory Cave. Yay! Okay. Now, she cannot enter. So, I'll have to ask you to wait. Yeah, so now this one's on me. I have to take him out without dying, basically. Ah, the giant mutated plants from uh, Vault 20, uh, 34 are here. You know what? Actually, screw that noise. They're just the plants. Let's thump thump them. I said let's thump thump in them into submission, please. Aha! Sucker. There we go. Whoa. Suck on that. Ugh. Yeah, no, I don't think I want to eat that. Wah. Obviously, if I had a flamethrower, it would be a lot easier, but I don't. I have a flame sword, but... Oh! Damn it. You're caught in a bear trap. Well, that's embarrassing. Get it? Embarrassing? Ah! I kill me. Um, okay, so... How do I get... Do I go up here? Up here? Maybe? It's over here, I guess. Ah. Yeah, it's over here. And... Da, 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 da. Oh, well, thank goodness I've got 47 lockpicks and i um, more than adept at lockpicking. It is really amazing how many games still, like, imit... God damn it. I could not have seen that trap. Like, I mean, yeah, I could have, but I didn't, so. Um, but it is amazing how many uh, games still use, to a certain extent, the lockpicking system that you see in, like, uh, Oblivion slash Fallout New Vegas. It, it's actually, it's really amazing. I'm not even necessarily mad, it's just kind of funny. Oh yeah, the survival caches, I forgot to mention. One of the big things that you can, uh, you can actually find in this game is, uh, these survival caches. They are very, very helpful. Very, very helpful, uh, in terms of getting you, uh, 
what you need or some supplies that you might need to survive. So, yeah. Ha ha! Yes! Year. Tracks half mile, saw them through the scope, finally gone crazy, dementia maybe. They're not crazy, they're real. Thirty-six years now, ridiculous. The main reason why I didn't read those is because they're uh, part of this survivalist's story, and uh, they're in those. We uh, should not be here. Ah, uh, what the are you talking about? In the caves. The Holy Father, who gave the Saros his succor, and gave the new Canaanites his son. Many of the caves around the valley are sacred to him, and those who would trespass are punished by holy wrath. Holy wrath. I understand. I'll respect your beliefs then, but we need to search the I cave. I understand. I would prefer to leave as soon as... Well, I don't know why you followed me in here. I gave you the command to wait. And I now I can even know. tell you. And now you can follow me again. Ugh, oh, that's an odd... That's a really odd and annoying bug. Like, really, really odd and anno an annoying bug. The good news is, is I don't think I actually need to go into any more of those marked caves. Uh, unless I want to go and... Uh, do the thing where I sh uh, I go through all those survival caches. Because the survival caches are... You know, there. So... Now, we... Now we have to deal with the Yaogwai. Let's go to the Yaogwai cave and deal with it, shall we? And this is not related to the quest for the Yao Guai Gauntlet. So, they are in fact different things. Uh, I'm trying to think here, would a brush, the brush gun be... Excuse me. Uh, I'm gonna use the brush gun, it'd probably Yao be more Guai. effective. Even our strongest hunters could not hope to kill so many. There must be a nest nearby. What do you propose? Fighting so many at once is a dangerous prospect, unless you are a truly mighty warrior. This many so close together suggests a nest nearby. If we find it and destroy it, we might have better luck. Did Daniel do not that? give you some of the new Canaanite's fire clay? That could easily collapse a cave and trap the beasts inside. Look around and see if you can find a cave nearby. It may prove easier than slaying the beasts. We better get to work then. Well, then, uh... Then, uh, I guess the real question is... Mining detonator. Ah! Okay. I guess that did not work. Ugh. All right. Oh fuck, Casador! Fucking hate Casadors. Fuck Casadors. Come back here. I don't want to get blindsided, so please come back. No. I mean, yes, I have anti venom, but I'd rather not. I can keep up this pace. Yeah, I know. I can't either. Okay, come on. Come back here, buddy. Bam! Whew! That was way too close. 
So she mentions fire clay. Uh, yeah, I don't have any grenades with me, so... Let's thump thump. Well, it was worth a try. Most people outside the valley do not keep to the father's way. All right, all right. Well, let's try this again. Oh, plant mine explosives. Oh, that's right. I think he actually legitimately gave them to me. Maybe. I can't remember. Uh, do I have even mining explosives that he mentioned, or no? She Because I have the mining detonator. That's got to count for something, right? Maybe I don't. Do I have the mining explosives? Hmm. <sighs> Yes, I do. Okay, good. Phew. I was like, wait a minute. Do I even have the explosives to get the job done? And the answer is yes, I do. Now I just need to find a specific spot on the wall here. Uh, I said find the specific spot on the wall here. Oh, it's up. It's up above. Because of course... Can't just be like right here while, you know, in the thing. You gotta go up to do that. Mm. Okay, so that's not it. Another dead end. Well, at least that's that part's being made easy for me. Freaking maze. Uh, oh, oh, uh, uh, can, can I please, uh, could you please tell me where I'm placing these mining explosives game and, uh, We'll move on? No? Okay. God damn it. Uh. It is good to travel with another. I spend so long scouting on my own that I forget what human company is like. Yes. I'm just trying to figure out where the hell we're supposed to be placing these things. Oh. Thank God. Okay, so that's one. Okay, one. Okay, so it's back over here. Now, if we're lucky, we won't have to encounter the Yao Guai, because that's kind of what we're hoping to do with these explosives. Although... I don't know. Maybe we will. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So now... Yeah, leave the cave and set off the charges, the mining detonator. Yeah, I mean, you could go in and fight all those, but I mean, they're giant mutated bears. Why would you go in and fight all of those if you're given the opportunity to do s to avoid them? I know I wouldn't. Okay. Damn it. 
one. Dion used to be a place of peace, you know. Yeah, Daniel yeah. says that it is holy in the eyes of the Father. I hope someday you will see us. Well, maybe it will, though, and maybe it will be. But yay, we'll have finished all the busy work now, and then it'll just be up to uh, what's next. Aha! Victory! And now we go back to uh, Daniel and let him know the good news. I'm glad to see you're still with us. How can I help you? You mentioned healing powder? I've got some if you're so interested. Great. Thanks. I checked on everything in the valley and got you the map of the Grand Staircase. It. Well, that's it. This is all we need. Now all that's left is to quietly pack up and try to get out of here without being noticed. That's assuming that Joshua won't try to stop me. And that he hasn't talked you into fighting the White Legs despite what I've said. Don't worry, I don't hold it against you. You're a... an outsider. Fighting seems like the practical solution. I'll tell you again. There's more at stake. No going back. All right. Whatever you decide, whether the sorrow should fight or flee, your decision will set the def destiny in motion. You'll be unable to finish any remaining quests in Zion once you make this decision, so choose wisely. Okay. Level up! Yay! Um, I think Joshua was right. We're going to fight the White Legs, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to fight the White Legs. <sighs> no. Why? Why? Haven't you seen enough of what's going on here to see that the Sorrows don't need to butcher the White Legs for a piece of land? What Joshua wants is more than an attack. He wants a slaughter. And he needs more than you and the dead horses to do it. The Sorrows can't be pushed into this. You and Joshua don't have the right to force them into it. Please, consider what I'm saying. You're a coward. And you have the right to pull them off their I've land? I've explained to them that we're leaving. They've accepted it. What is Joshua going to tell them about being a warrior? What are you going to tell them about how to live with themselves after they got lost in the moment? Killed someone who didn't deserve to die? Or does that not matter? Is that just an acceptable consequence if it means holding on to this valley? Maybe there is no place left in this world for mercy. But even if it tramples me into the dust, I will never accept it. And I will never condone it. Joshua must be waiting for you. I'll stay here with the others as I told them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi. Hi there.
Thank you for this. I know Daniel doesn't approve, but destroying the White Legs is the only way to ensure the Sorrows can remain in Zion. You and I will lead a group of Dead Horse Warriors and Sorrows Hunters into Three Marys from this position. Our objective is to find the White Legs leader, Salt Upon Wounds, and prevent him from fleeing. Show no quarter to the White Legs we come across. Make no mistake about why we are here. This is an extermination. Sorry about that. Somebody else uh, was uh, talking and I didn't want them to uh, be heard on stream. So, yeah. Or I had to talk to someone. And uh, so, yeah. There we go. All right. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do it. Joshua Graham. Uh, we're going to help him take care of the white God legs. Be with you. Yeah, Joshua Graham is gonna, we're gonna be with Joshua, he's gonna be our companion for this final battle. And no, we cannot fast travel. It's actually kind of annoying, but Joshua Graham is a beast in battle, so we'll definitely have that. And yes, I could have, uh, I could have very, I could have gotten like some, uh, ammunition but I didn't so yeah now we gonna march and take out take them out wipe them out all of them all of them so yeah Grr. all right all right I can't reach him from up there, though. Damn it. <sighs> All right. Let's riot shotgun. If I can shoot. Shoot straight. There, jeez. Aim straight, please. <sighs> yep. All right. Come on. Do we take care of him? No. Yeah, he doesn't... Basically, if we see him, we shoot him kind of thing. He's not going to, like completely condemn me if I don't go after every single one of them. <sighs> yeah, so I missed... I missed out on the unique uh, Yao Guai gauntlet. That's basically other than the like the survivalist stuff. That was like the only thing I missed in terms of like exploring the valley. For better and worse, there's just like a lot of wildlife and stuff to kind of mow through. So I didn't really think that it was worth the time to do so. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, we'll definitely, looks like we'll be able to finish. Oh. Oh. Damn. That was a good shot, actually. I didn't see that coming at all. 
All right, so uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely be able to finish Honest Hearts tonight for sure. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be able to finish Honest Hearts tonight, and uh, yeah, that was uh, wow, that was something. I did not see that coming. <laughs> Could have swore that I was actually much better. Like, just blam. You got a pretty good shot in on me, that guy. Yeah, a lot of credit. But, uh, yeah. Ow. Ass. How do you miss with a with a gun like this? He's three feet in front of you. Oh crap! They pour it poisoned me. Ah, yeah, thanks, Joshua. Damn this! Damn the anti-material rifle's awesome. Ugh. God damn it! Oh no! It's the Decoro root poison. Great. There it is. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, let's see here now. Okay. Oh, thank God I got another anti-venom because I wasted the one that I had on it. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, if you uh, plow just through like the story of this particular one, it's not the longest DLC. I'm going to save just so that I don't, if I get gunned down again, I don't like lose any progress or too much of it rather, I should say. Yeah, there we go. Suck it. Damn, Joshua Graham's a beast. Like, seriously, what the hell, man? Ah! Yeah, told you he was a beast. The 45s that he fires, it's not even funny. Like, he doesn't... He didn't just, like shoot and reload those guns for show in the cave. The main reason why I'm not why I'm using the 45 uh, pistol is because I don't actually have that much ammunition for the gun and for the uh, non-pistol and if I use the pistol I'm, I'm able to manage it better than not. Uh, he said as he misses almost all of his bats shots. Damn it. Well, thanks for getting rid of that guy, Josh. Okay. Oh, firebomb. Weapon binding ritual. I'm actually not certain if you can find a 12, the 12 7 submachine gun outside of this. I think you can, but I'm not going to bank on it. It is kind of annoying that you basically just have to, uh, or that you have to, like, walk all the way there. I mean, yeah, you're basically, you know, taking care of the white legs along the way, but it is kind of, like, annoying. It's like, why the hell do we have to do this this way? I would much rather have, uh, Josh... <laughs> 
He's got a motorcycle tank on his back. Still, for this particular sequence, you'd much rather have, you know... Uh, actually, I guess it's a fire tank for the shish kebab. You'd still much rather have Joshua Graham than, uh, one, like, you know, doing the, the Daniel part. I've never done Daniel's path because, I mean, why would you? Like, if you don't take them out here, the white legs would just pursue the uh, the sorrows and the dead horses to extinction. There's n nothing has changed by running away, despite what Daniel thinks. Like, all you do is you basically prove Kaisar right by saying, "Oh, the white legs are raiders," and said raiders just drive away the type of uh, potential that. Uh, could be, you know, like there kind of thing. Uh, can we get down there without killing ourselves? Probably not. Let's not even try. Ah! Perfect. Ambush spot. Could you maybe hit him, please? Thank you. <laughs> I don't think you you uh you got that one, Joshua. That was my kill. <laughs> Alright. I don't need the white legs armor, that's just kind of the tribal armor at this point's just kinda pointless. <sighs> Oh, we, I forgot if we can talk to Jack Shotgun or not. The Ben Bridge. Ah, no. Oh, Josh, I hope you can uh, you can hit hit the guy from there, because I can't. Whoop. What? We got ourselves uh, a pain maker with a shish kebab. So there you can actually see the shish kebab in potential action here. Ah, uh, he's going to light me on fire. Damn it. I was in the water, how does that not work? Or how does he not, how does he light me on fire still? Uh, yeah, no, seriously, I was in the water, how does he light me on fire still? <laughs> ah! Storm drummer. AKA someone I, else I do not like. All right, all right. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Joshua Graham. I would have been dead otherwise. Oh yeah, that's right. I've got water I can drink too to heal. Let's do that, shall we? Time for talk has passed. The Lord's work must be done. Fair enough. Okay. We're about halfway there. Let's save again. The ranger substation. I think we can get through this pass. I could be wrong. Only one way to tell. Find more white legs. Yep. I think that's a sound glitch. Yeah, I think that's a sound glitch, because otherwise, uh, Joshua would be, uh... 
saying, hey, watch out, you know, kind of thing. Yeah, some pre-war stuff. <sighs> Sometimes you can't jump as well as I would I would hope for in this game. And like I said, that that is just the sound glitch, I think, at this point. Because I don't... I can't... I can't do much about it, it would seem. I just wanted to check this ranger station out since we were right here. Looks like there's some minor ammo and stuff. Ooh, ten stim packs. Uh, yes please. Definitely. Ten stim packs. Ooh, very hard gun case. Don't mind if I do. Damn it. Uh, close. There we go. Not really a gun I'd use though, so I'll just take the XP and the 10 stim packs. Holy mackerel and run and hope maybe that this flame noise will go away. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I sure can. It's friggin' annoying. Jeez, just, yeah, I get it. I don't know what what's going on. So now, I'm trying to remember uh, what's the way. I think this is the way. I'm trying to remember how you how you can get forward. Cause oh geez, there's a corpse. A corpse with a tomahawk embedded into it. Ah! Well, we're on the right track. Because more, uh, more white legs means more... Means more... Uh... Also, shish kebab. So at least the flame noise now makes... Meeks makes sense. Ah! Where? I don't see him. Gosh, you see him? No? Oh, okay, he's over here now. Ah! Thank you. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, survivalist rifle. Nice. I think that's that's a unique weapon to uh, this DLC, the survivalist rifle. So, there's that. Definitely want to keep my eyes open for those. <sighs> of course, the sound is back again. Uh, okay, maybe we just need to follow the river, because I'm trying to remember now... Yeah, we just need to follow the river now. Damn, he's like a Wild West gunslinger. Like, seriously. I reload, he got he's got it. He's got them. Like, I don't you don't even he doesn't even really need me here, honestly. Also, it looks like some of these are actually like females. Like, you know, the white legs are not like an all male tribe in terms of like their raiders. Despite what you might think. Which is interesting. Yeah, now I think we just gotta go up the river here. And sorry I keep bouncing back and forth. Between stuff. Yeah, yeah, now we just gotta 
enter here. Actually, I wonder if Joshua is gonna... I'm trying to remember if Joshua actually has, like, anything to say here. I don't know if he does. But yeah, we take care of Salt Upon Wounds. We'll end up getting his, uh, unique weapon. And then we'll have finished the Honest Hearts DLC, at least in terms of the main story. And, uh... I'm actually kind of surprised that it only took two streams to do it because I could have sworn that it took much longer and uh, I actually needed to go the other way. Whoopsie. Oh well. But yeah, no, I could have swore it took a lot longer to uh, finish the DLC. So, uh, yeah. It, or at least the main part of the Honest Hearts DLC. I'm not complaining. Oh. I don't even know if that's just a taboo so much as that is just blood spattered. We're almost there though. What? Oh, never mind. There's that sound effect again. Oh yes, now we've reached up with the dead horses. And the sorrows, yay! We made it! Ooh, you took damage there, buddy. The three Marys, huh? Interesting. Who put the toaster here? Oh no. No. Not you guys. Mm. You'll pay for what you've done. A throwing spear. Minus 50. Why? What is that? What does that even mean? Why would you have that? Well, they, actually, they actually took quite a few of them down. Now, but, yeah, this is a bloody battle, all right. <laughs> There's a clock. This is broken-ass clock. Uh, okay. So now I believe we go... Yeah, we go down this way. Yea, though I walk through the Valley of Shadows, I shall fear no death, or something to that effect. Okay. Let's actually use something that isn't... Okay. Nice! That was a damn good shot. Yeah, this is a survivalist rifle, by the way. Um... Yeah, the survivalist rifle is one of the unique guns in the in the DLC. Uh, we won't find this in the Mojave. Much in the same way that the... Uh, I actually don't need... Yeah. Um, much in the same way, like, that the 45... Like, it's not even necessarily that the 45 is, like, very hard to find. Or the 45 auto is very hard to find. Like, the guns... Uh, much in the same way that this, uh, the 12.7 mil is, like, in the 12 gauge and stuff, in the 50 MG, they're not difficult to find in the Mojave Wasteland, like the ammo. It's just that the ammo itself is not necessarily the most common, so, uh, you'll definitely want to... Whoa! Okay, then. This is taking uh, too long. We can't let salt upon wounds escape. I'm going to find a way around. God willing, we will finish this together. God damn it. Josh, why would you do that to me? Uh. But yeah, they blew... Actually, now that I think about it, they 
yeah, they just blew the path. So now I you have to go around another way, which is actually kind of funny because I don't think... I think I have to go through this cave. Yeah, I have to go through this cavern. Which is kind of hilarious because that's what we were going to do anyways. So, why does Joshua Graham abandon you? I don't know. I won't say it's because he's a dick, because he's quite clearly not. But it is a dick move. It's like, really, dude? Come on now. Boom. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh... Uh... Son of a bitch. All right. Uh, I don't know if my armor is going to survive. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, those are just just rechecking the notes. Well, my armor's actually doing pretty good. Put on a stick. I have no idea why Joshua Graham just randomly gave me these, uh, these things to heal me, but, eh, I'm not gonna complain. There we go. I don't even really know. I don't think I need this anti venom. I'm just grabbing it because, uh. I don't even need the anti venom. I just, uh, I'm carrying it so that I can sell it. Because once you get out of Zion Valley, Valley, bleh, I can finish talking. But once you get out of Zion Valley, you never really have to worry about the Decura poisoning again. So. It's more or less just another healing item to weigh you down. I mean, that's not a bad thing, because I don't think it actually weighs that much, but... Yeah, and also, yeah, those are the, uh, the white... The extent of the white legs that you will face in here, I think. Huh. <sighs> this is great. Easy lock. Oh, yeah, I'll take that. That. I love how most of the ammo in, like, the ammo boxes, uh, when it comes to the white legs, are basically empty. Like, it's all just cases. Like, that's why you, especially in these DLCs, it helps to have a good craft skill. Uh, because you're gonna need the ammunition, because the game won't give you a lot of it. Uh, especially in Dead Money, the game doesn't give you ammunition. <clears throat> Alright. Sorry, just adjusting my back there for a second. Uh, bearings. Why would I take that? It has no value. All right. And yes, now we're on the other side. Excuse me. <sighs> Damn it. Bear trap. Did that cripple my leg? No, it did not. But I'll use a doctor bag anyway. Aha! No. I mean, I'll take the healing, yes, but I wanted to activate and disarm the bear trap. Yay. 
Okay. Now, am I headed in the right direction? I think I am, because I think... Nice! Whew! Nice, dead horse. I mean, stone cold killer, yes, but hey, desperate times call for desperate measures. And hey, if they're willing to get in bed with the Legion, something tells me that uh, the White Legs ain't exactly gonna sit down for Nuka Cola and cookies to talk this out. Just, just a thought. Uh, I think I'm on the right path. See, the problem with this is that it's, it's, it's a little difficult to navigate. Okay. Ah. Okay. Crouch. No. Okay. Don't crouch. Just fall slowly. Ah. Oh. You didn't poison me. Take that, bone breaker. Oh, crap. Oh, firebomb. <laughs> Thankfully, you were stupid and decided not to throw another one if you had any. Like, seriously. Uh, and you did have another. Huh. Well, go figure. That was your own fault, then. I have my own firebombs to throw if necessary again with the clock there I have no idea what that's supposed to be broken coffee pot too this is kind of weird okay I guess that is not a foot locker I'm wondering if I should just loot a mantis gauntlet just so that I have it, but because the shish kebab you can actually find elsewhere, but the mant can't. I also think he did he deactivate? No, he didn't activate his own trap. Okay, well that's good. Yeah, the survivalist's rifle. That's um. That's that guy that I was telling you about in the notes, um, in those, uh, notes that I, that one cave, there's a whole story surrounding him, and got a fraction of it because I was more focused on the main plot of the DLC than telling the story of a side character, but this is his rifle, and it is a unique weapon, and you can kind of see it as uh, on the PC I'd probably be able to give you a much better view of it but it's uh it's a pretty impressive little weapon to say the least Whew. again no mercy just seek and destroy can't say they haven't earned it with the way the white legs treat them. Again, with the freaking noise. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't waste any time. They just went right into the camp and aced them. Again, hard to feel sympathy for them. You know, you kind of had their, you know, they're raiders, so they had their chance to make their choices, and they, you know, squandered them. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, we're almost there. Stupid fire noise is really getting to me, though. It's like... I don't think a single one of them have a sh... Bad. Ooh! Help me, you fools. Thank you! That's what I was trying to do, anyways. Me. 
Damn you. Uh, sorry, guys, you had to take some damage, but I appreciate the help. Because... Yeek! That was almost very bad. Alright. But yeah, I'll, I'll take a Mantis Gauntlet, because then I can repair it. And Even though I'm, my character's not melee-focused, it's a unique weapon to this DLC, and... And I collected it. So there you go. Oh, frame rate's dropping a little bit, so I'm going to save to avoid crashing. There. Well, not save to avoid crashing so much as just hope that it doesn't crash. And hey, we're here. We you see that? Syracuse, and you persisted. You took advantage of us at New Canaan to drive us out. And like the dogs of Caesar you are, you followed us to Zion. And now you stand on holy ground, a temple to God's glory on earth. For in our temple is sacrifice. Kale Wachene conserva O. You understand me, don't you? Don't you? Out, man! Kunaman mad. He killed all white legs. You talk. You stop. No. Sneering imperialist. Whatever, Joshua. Put a cap in gobble General Gobbledygook here. Bika Kerr. You devil. Not really. There. That's it. It's finished. Nice. You may hear what happened here. The White Lakes will crawl back to their great salt lake. If Caesar doesn't kill them, they'll wither and die like the cursed mongrels they are. Come. Let's find Daniel. Tomorrow will be here soon. And there is still much work to be done. Oh yeah. All right. Well, first things first, level up. Hell to the yes. All right. <laughs> Salt upon wounds. Yes, you can actually get into a boss fight with him. Uh, if you actually choose to flee, then it's an actual legitimate boss fight that you have with him. But if you choose what I did, uh, you basically just you you don't gun, you don't necessarily have to gun him down the way Joshua did, but. It's pretty close to that. Like, y you you can do it yourself, uh, or choose to do it in a fight. But it's pretty much that. You you pretty much can guess what it was. Okay. Uh, that's like the one time I'm gonna get to use the sneer sneering imperial imperialist perk, and because of the white legs and who they are, it's not a loss of karma. So, why not? Ah, uh, jeez. What do I even want to use at this point? Uh... Uh... Alright, ferocious loyalty. Uh and so Ah it damn it, I can't between the new Canaanites and the You White can't pick up his unique weapon resolved. though if you have Joshua do what he did. Had the scale, shifting the fragile balance of power. But that's the end of Honest Starts? Joshua Arts? Graham's chilling execution of salt upon wounds seared into their minds. The surviving white legs retreated to the Great Salt Lake. Unable to shake the memory of their brutal defeat and the dead horse's savagery in battle, the White Legs feared further reprisals. They fled north, out of Utah, into Wyoming. The wilderness was harsh, and the first winter claimed over half the tribe. When spring came, the survivors parted hmm. ways in small bands, and so 
the White Legs died a quiet, ignominious death. The hmm. Sorrows fought beside Joshua Graham and the dead horses, eradicating the threat the White Legs posed to Zion. Mm -hmm. Watching as the courier encouraged Joshua Graham to execute salt upon wounds, the Sorrows learned that New Canaan offered no mercy to the wicked. The Sorrows' yes. transformation from a peaceful, timid tribe into a merciless warlike people broke Daniel's heart. Over time, the Sorrows became ever more ruthless in their dealings, even with each other. Daniel traveled hmm. to and fro between the New Canaanites uh -oh. and Zion, continuing to plead for a return to the old ways whenever he visited. Eventually, the Sorrows grew tired of his blather and turned their backs on him. Having Not the best ending. The white legs from Zion, the dead horses returned to Dead Horse Point in triumph. They remained neutral toward the Sorrows, but as years went on, there were periods of competitive friction, even violence between the tribes. The new Canaanites, Daniel especially, intervened regularly as mediators, but found it difficult to reconcile the tribe's conflicts. The defeat hmm. of the White Legs and Zion marked a turning point in the fortunes of the Happy Trails Caravan Company. Every two what was months, left of it? the caravan met with the new Canaanites in Zion Valley to trade. Happy Trails soon returned to prosperity. The vigilance of the sorrows and dead horses in defending southwestern Utah, initially startling to Happy Trails caravans, soon proved a blessing. The tribes united against the 80s, driving them back from Highway 50, and thus opening yet another trading route for Happy Trails caravans. Waking hmm. Cloud was distraught when she learned of her husband's death, but took comfort from her tribe and the compassion of the new Canaanites. She forgave Daniel for having concealed her husband's fate from her and learned to accept his fate. When her grief hmm. faded, she took a husband from the dead horse tribe. At her bidding, he stayed close to home. With the <laughs> white legs crushed, Joshua Graham led the sorrows and dead horses in tearing apart and burning the corpses of their enemies. Whew. He set about training his army in the way of the Canaanite. And soon the new Canaanites and tribes of Zion were feared well into the Mojave. Legends of the Burn Man grew even more depraved and terrifying. For years after the defeat of the White Legs, Daniel did his best to minister to the Sorrow's spiritual needs. Try as he might, he could not hold back the tribe's increasing militancy and reverence of Joshua Graham. Demoralized, he returned to his family and Dead Horse Point. His failures haunted him for the rest of his days. And with oh, that, no. the courier walked out of the history of the tribes of Zion and back to the gathering storm of the Mojave Wasteland. Hell to the freaking yes. Yes, sir. Ugh. So yeah, we can uh we can leave Zion now. We can leave and re enter at any point. And yeah, this is, uh, the, you get some unique stuff here. A light shining in the in darkness. Unique Joshua Graham 45. Followers Chalk's headdress. Daniel's hat. Daniel's outfit. Joshua Graham's armor. Salt Upon Wounds helmet. Scripture. Salt Upon Wounds special power fist. Now, the survivalist rifle, what I was going to say in the middle of the cutscene, you see how there's a name? Uh, I, I believe that's a name carved in the barrel. Again, very, it's unique and holds a place in the heart of the survivalist. Uh, and so, as a result, yeah, uh, that's kind of where that is. Uh, Salt Upon Wounds Power Fist. It's basically the same as any other Power Fist, except it's got a bit of a damage buff. So there's that. Uh, yeah, actually, we're gonna do that. 
I won't need the service rifle. And then... See what a light shining into darkness looks like. It's basically a copy of uh, Joshua Graham's 45 that he had. Uh, it's, it's cool. It's not necessary, really. Um, Daniel's hat and barter gems. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Same thing with the salt upon wounds stuff. Uh, but yeah. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot. You can hotkey stuff. Uh, that I never, ever used. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it then for Honest Hearts. I mean, I can go back and do the side quests, uh, but it's not really necessary, and, uh, I do not necessarily want to do them. Um, I mean, it's pretty much a done deal. So, yeah, I am just gonna walk back out into the Mojave, and, uh, yeah. Now, I do believe that you can go back. Yeah, you can go back at any time. Um, that's the thing with these uh, DLCs. They initially trap you in the environments until you finish the main story of the game, but with the exception of uh, Dead Money, uh, you can actually go back to all of them. And also, depending on your actions in the uh, Lonesome Road DLC, you might not be able to go back to that, too. But, uh, yeah. Now I have the unenviable task of carrying basically all my crap that I offloaded for the journey. Uh. Okay. All right. So, uh, all right. Got my power armor back. Uh, do I actually have the ability to? Repair or maintain anything here. Uh, I'm trying to think here now. I don't know if I need. Again, I don't know if I need so much of this stuff. But I don't want to leave it behind either kind of thing. So it's it's one of those things. Uh, let's see here now. I think with a strong back perk, though, I can technically actually travel. I think I can fast travel, though, so... Let's see here now. Please? I mean, it'll be a bit painful to go through, but... Ah, I was afraid of that. Okay, so now I have to... Now I have to decide... What am I gonna drop? Cause... I don't really need some of this stuff. Uh, let's see here. Probably get rid of... Leather armor, that doesn't have a whole lot of value. Uh, don't probably not gonna use that uh, let's see here now uh, hunting shotgun I think I'll keep uh, get rid of the hunting shotgun almost there just need to do one more, and then I can travel unencumbered. 
and then drop off some of my other stuff. Because that's basically kind of what it amounts to, is just getting rid of the stuff that I don't need to carry. I don't remember needing that, so I'll drop that. Uh, let's see here now. Uh, drink that. Sorry if this is actually boring, but I'm just trying to make sure that I know what I'm dropping before I do, so... I know I can't drop the caravan deck. Do I really not have anything that isn't valuable that, like, I, I just can't drop? I'll drop the pilot light because I don't need that because I don't do a lot of crafting. Uh, I just need to get rid of like one more thing so I can travel to the gun runners and sell some of the guns that I'm not going to use. That's basically what this amounts to. Because I'm trying to use a gun that because I'm trying to get to uh, guns that I'm not going to use. Basically, get rid of those. Let's go to the gun runners then. Welcome, sir. Show me what you have for sale. Plus, this actually allows me to get some additional ammunition. So, this works. Now... Uh... Gonna get rid of... The atomic cocktails, because I don't need those. Uh, let's see here now. What? Ah, here it was. Now, I don't use the 12-7. I can think of better uses for it. Let's see. I don't really have a use for the frag grenades. I don't need the grenade launcher because I have the mercenary's grenade rifle. Uh, let's see. I don't really even need to use the plasma caster because I'm not using that. Half of those. Actually, I'm just keeping those, the pulse stuff just in case, because, you know, run into robots and whatnot. Uh, Tesla cannon will probably be useful if I actually repair the thing. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, that's kind of it. I mean, I think I might want to get rid of the combat armor, but... Let's see here now. Right. Uh, let's see here now. Oh, yeah, I want ammo. Let's just get to the... Skip to the ammo here. 
Uh, come on. Take all your 45. Yeah. Yeah, nails. You can you can fire nails. I believe there there is a nail gun. So uh, let's see. Sorry that that's a bit abrupt. I'm trying to look for the trying to find the 127. There it is. Uh, yeah, I have more than enough caps to actually buy whatever I need to, so that's the good news. Uh, so I might as well. Can never have enough bullets. No, sir. Uh, let's see, 12 gauge, buy that. I mean... Yes, I, I could buy, like, some of the additional ammunition, or, like, some of the special ammunition, but it doesn't really matter to me, necessarily. The 38 Special, I don't really even have anything to use that with, but I'll, I'll buy it anyways, kind of thing. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think that's it. The only thing is that maybe I do want to have, like, some default for the combat armor, but nah. Eh. Alright. Reloading bench, please. Uh, coin shot, nice. Uh, let's see. Hey, hey! Now... Aha! See? That's how you, uh... That's how you effectively get around. That's how you effectively get around, uh, if you need ammunition. You basically just, you know, do that. If you have, once you have, like, a lot of supplies, it's, it's much easier to do these things once you have a lot of those supplies. So, let's do it. I'm sorry, I keep pulling out, out the gun, because I keep think I keep going to the X button. <sighs> I did it again. Oh. Uh. See? I managed to avoid doing it this time. There. All right. So now we'll go to we'll go to Lucky Thirty Eight, and we'll uh, stow my weapons. And then. Then after that, we will. The Rangers are getting reinforcements. Come on. Had it now. Watch out. Watch out. Eh. You had him. I wasn't too worried. But yeah, uh, we'll. Hey, you're the one who's been. Thank you. Every penny helps. But, uh, yeah, after I turn in my stuff, I will probably end up going to...
evening. The uh, if it can be the bought, drive. It can be found at Mick and Ron's. Uh, the drive-in theater, which will uh, start Old World Blues. But before I go and do Old World Blues, uh, that'll be when I call it a stream. The one thing that is kind of annoying is with the exception of the Lonesome Road, you are stripped, like I said, of all your equipment. Not only are you locked in to the various places that you have to go to, uh, you're basically stripped of all of your armor and equipment, which is why uh, I've been trying to actually put more into, like, survival, because I know that survival will be imperative going forward. But, uh, yeah. Uh, it's so weird to just see Tabitha still there. Because, you know, the game glitched. Oh, well. And I'm not going to bother getting my companions again because, once again, on the DLC, you're not gonna... they're not gonna be able to join you. In fact, Old World Blues is... the only, uh... DLC that, uh, doesn't give you any form of companions. So... there's that. Well, I shouldn't say that it does. It gives you, uh... A temporary companion. It doesn't give you, like, full-blown, uh, it doesn't give you, uh, like, full-blown, hey, you're gonna follow, you as companions will follow me here, there, and everywhere kind of thing. So, yeah. All right, into the wardrobe goes Chalk's headdress, Daniel's hat, outfit, Joshua Graham's armor, Salt's helmet, and yeah. And then more unique weapons will go into here. Light shining into darkness. Mmm... Fire bombs, Gauss rifle, Mantis gauntlet, Mercenary grenaders rifle, Multipass rifle, Salt's power fist. Mm, keep the Tesla cannon. Keep that gun, keep thump thump. Mm. Put the anti material rifle away. Mm. Put that gun away, too. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Oh yeah, I actually don't need this brush gun. Actually, I'll, I'll keep the brush gun, but I'll shift over to the 45 here. All right. 
down to the casino, then we'll go to the drive-in where Old World Blues is, is fit to take place. And then after that, I will call it a stream. And then the next time I do a stream on Monday, it will be to do the next DLC quest, the Old World Blues. Scorpion. Ah, combat knife. Shing shing. I mean, even in the power armor, I'm not concerned with the thing hurting me, so I might as well use the combat knife that I've very rarely, if ever, used. So, yeah. You'd be. <sighs> But yeah, this is uh this has been fun and we're kind of getting closer and closer to the nitty-gritty. We're getting probably more weapons than I actually will ever need, but at the same time, I mean, we're nearing the end of the DLC, so ooh wee ooh. Oh, would you look at that? That's totally not creepy at all, eh? Yeah? Well, this is... This is where we're, uh... This is what we got. So, uh... Yeah, you can interact with this, uh... Crash satellite. We're not gonna do it this time. That's for the next time. When we return... Next Monday for Fallout... With Fallout New Vegas. It'll be time for some old world blues and going to Big Mountain or the Big MT as it's called. It, it definitely it varies and changes between the various characters in this game. In any event, I'd like to thank all of you for watching and I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Uh, this tonight's stream, I'll be back on Thursday with more Ghost of Tsushima and until then, Stay happy, stay beautiful, stay healthy, stay sane, everybody. Peace out, and goodbye. He said as he realizes that he needs to save this game, uh, his game first. <laughs> there. Okay, now I see you. Now see